Across the Tri-Cities tonight, back to school shopping can really hit a parent where it matters, the wallet. Yeah, but some Bay County students who couldn't normally afford it are going back to school in style, and it's all thanks to the United Way. WNEM tv 5s Jessica Mackey reports. Mommy, you like it? Getting new yes, clothes I'm... for the start of the school year. It's something lots of kids look forward to, including Madison, Marissa, and Morgan Steff. Wow, you got some tennies. But for parents like Vicki Steff, providing a new outfit for three girls for the first day of school can have its challenges. Um, Mom, these are what one thing you got to buy. It's hard work and difficult. Um, I don't work very often, so, but I get by. I get by. I get help, family, friends. So it's, it's a lot of work, but I do it. To help, the United Way of Bay County is making sure hundreds of kids from low-income families are dressed from head to toe in new clothes for the first day of school as part of their back-to-school clothing program. So not only can they go back to school looking great and feeling good about themselves, um, we also won't have kids in Bay County still wearing flip-flops in November. Each child will get an outfit for the first day of school. They'll also get new shoes and socks and underwear. 1,200 kids have already been pre-approved to receive a new outfit, but just like these families need a little extra help, so does the United Way. So far, only 700 kids have fresh clothes to return to school. The United Way still needs donations and sponsorships to fill 500 more bags. So the group can send kids back to school with a new attitude and some new clothes, too. In Bay County, Just Kmecki, WNEM TV5. That is so sweet. And if you would like to help fill those 500 extra bags, we have a link at the hot link section at WNEM.com. Now with coverage you can count on, this is your WNEM TV5 First Warn 5 forecast. Good evening, everyone. Looking for a uh, fairly quiet looking weekend for uh, most of mid Michigan. Seeing a couple uh, spotty showers building in. We'll show you those right now. A live look at First One Five, Pinpoint Doppler at MBS. Uh, the uh, northern portion of the state seeing a few of those showers, couple rumbles of thunder. Uh, these are all marching off towards the east. Slight southern component to those folks near Houghton Lake seeing a little light rain. This is all uh, popping up along a very weak disturbance, which is going to push on through as we head into the overnight. So a couple of isolated showers on the way, uh, but again, most of the weekend. Looking all right. Let's take a look outside from our camera in a Saginaw 78. That is normal. Well, well done. Winds are from the south southwest about six. Dew point is a little bit lower than it was yesterday. Uh, 78 is the current temperature right now in Bay City. Lots of sunshine along I 75 in Flint. Temperature just shy of 80. Temps across the rest of the area. Let's uh, check in with our severe weather network. The bugs in Harbor Beach, 77 degrees at this hour. Thomas Township. Jim and uh, Jan Kubzak looking all right. Uh, close to 80 in Birch Run from uh, George Wood. Temperature 79 in Owasso, 75 in Alma. Uh, low 70s as we head towards uh, Skoda, 75 in Houghton Lake. Uh, dew points yesterday were in the upper 50s, low 60s. We've uh, lost a, a few degrees off that dew point, so a little lower humidity. All in all, a, a beautiful day except for the uh, northern viewing area. Starting to see a few of those showers moving in. You can see this uh, weak disturbance all the way down through uh, southern Wisconsin into uh, northern Illinois. Not a whole lot of moisture for this to work with, but again, can't rule out a few uh, spotty showers on the way. Let's uh, time it out. First one, five, 48 hour future cast into motion we go. Two o'clock in the morning. Couple of those uh, uh, green shades out there as the disturbance slides on through. Still could see an isolated shower, maybe a rumble of thunder for your Saturday morning. This is uh, eight o'clock. That will sweep on by. By the afternoon, looks good. We'll have partly to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will top out uh, about what we saw today in the mid and upper 70s near. And you're normal. I'm zooming out back into motion while things are uh, very problematic out east uh, due to the uh, big hurricane. That's going to block things back here close to home. So not a whole lot of a uh, change going on as we head into your Sunday. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures again very close to normal. All right, forecast as we head into the overnight down into the upper 50s and low 60s. Skies will be mostly clear for uh, the vast majority of mid Michigan tomorrow. Temperatures topping out in the upper 70s. First one five, seven day forecast where you can always see the weekend uh, looking uh, pretty nice for your Sunday and Monday. 75 degrees, 77 on Tuesday, 80 on Wednesday, and low 80s Thursday and Friday. So a very mm -hmm. dry stretch of weather with temperatures very close to normal for the whole run. Uh, kind of the opposite for our friends on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to have just a, a yeah. impossible mess. Things are very quiet here in mid Michigan. All right, thank you, Darren. Mm -hmm.
New at 11 tonight, the state of Michigan announcing tonight it is looking into the Flint City budget. And this could lead to Flint getting an emergency financial manager. What that means for you. And forecasts tonight say that Hurricane Irene is just hours away from slamming into the East Coast, just like Darren just said. And tonight, estimates put 65 million Americans in the storm's path of the very latest on the coast conditions tonight. And week one of high school football season continues tonight. We'll have all the scores and highlights from across the area in Friday Night Lights. Top stories in tomorrow's forecast in the first 10 minutes every night on WNEM TV 5 News at 11. And even in a down economy, the health care industry is booming. Next at 6, find out which jobs will give you the best chance for success.